Alexa, play songs like Alice DJ on Amazon Music. Sorry, I'm having trouble understanding right now. Please try a little later. Why is it whenever your broadband's due for renewal, you always seem to have internet problems? But one set of brake pads to fit to this little puppy. Now take off this trim, loosen the road bolts, jack it up, take the wheel off so we can have a closer look at the caliper and the brake pads that's already fitted. That's it jacked up. You want to loosen these first while the wheel's on the ground because otherwise without the weight of the vehicle if you try and loosen them all that will happen is the wheel will spin. So loosen them first then jack it up and then you can take the wheel bolts out completely. And we can take the wheel off. check the condition of the pads fairly low on that side but it's not down to the backing material and on that side about the same and we'll compare them to the new pads Took a few reference photos just for my own purposes to make sure these anti rattle clips go back in place. We're going to remove this and then we should be able to slide out this retainer and then the brake pads should come out. At the same time, we're going to try and push that piston back in there. So I've removed the cover off of the brake reservoir and I've just placed a cloth around there to protect against any spillage. Took that pin out this side and I'm just tapping this retainer out just from that side with the side of the hammer until this is all the way out and then we can access these pads. This is the old pad versus the new pad and as we can see there is quite a bit of difference in the friction material so this is the backing plate here and this is what you'd call the friction material and that's the bit that wears down over time as you're braking but yeah massive difference there and that's it with that pad removed and that just slides in like that I'm going to remove this one, push this piston back and fit the new pads. I'm just going to use the old pads and this screwdriver and lever in between the two to evenly push that piston back in so we can fit the new pads in. Now that's pushed back in, we're checking that this caliper can slide freely, which it can. And then we're going to replace these pads, put the new ones in. Before I fit the new pads, I've just given the area a bit of a clean up with this wire brush and a spray down with some brake cleaner just to remove the old brake dust. Make sure you don't breathe any of that old brake dust in though. Hello everyone, how are you all doing? Shane's outside fixing the car, so I'm making the most of the peace and quiet. All the kids are at school, he's outside. I'm just making us a cup of tea. I'm going to nip that outside to him and then I'm going to crack on and I'm going to record my pumpkin video while I have some peace and quiet. If I bring you over here, I've kind of got everything ready that I'm going to need for my video. I just need to set up my camera, which is there, and then turn on all my lights. There's my microphone. I have a t-shirt as well that says Awesome Crafter, so I will change into that. But first, we're going to make the cup of tea. So there's our two brews. So I'm going to pop those outside now to Shane. And I'm going to get on setting up, ready to record my video. That's the new pads fitted. This side's done. So we're going to refit the road wheel, get it back on the ground, have a cup of tea, and then do the other side. Right, I'm back again. So I'm now going to turn on all of my lights. I need to set up my camera as well but we're going to get all the lights on first and 
then we should be about ready to go. If I switch around. So basically, when you stood here, this is what you can see. I've got a light there. I've got another light here. Here's my camera. Then I have two lights over there. Then I'm gonna move my sewing machine. I'm gonna put my phone in the phone holder just there. So that will record top down and my camera will record facing me. And then when needs be, I'm just gonna tilt the camera like that and then that'll record when I'm sewing. Right, I'm gonna get on and I will see you again soon. That's both sides done. Put the wheel bolts back on at 85 newton meters. The cover for the wheels are on and the reservoir filler is back on as well. I'm going to depress the brake pedal a few times to bring the pads up in contact with the disc and then take it for a road test. That's the road test complete. Everything was fine. I'll check the road wheel bolts in, I don't know, a couple of hundred miles and make sure they're still at the correct torque. Aside from that, all's good. Back to Lisa in the studio.